Randy Travis and his wife Mary love listening to his old records. That's the music he came to Nashville to make, and he never, he never changed courses. He never, he, he never vacillated. He knew what he wanted to make. But on the other hand, at 62, eight years removed from a near fatal stroke. The singer isn't able to make new music yet, so he digs into his hits and deep cuts. Storms of Life came first. Released in 1986, it's described by some as the perfect album. But what does he think of it? I'm Billy Dukes, and we'll get there. But first, subscribe and hit thumbs up if you're a big fan of Randy's. Then let us know what your favorite of his song is. When country music news breaks, our fans are the first to know and look. Randy himself even follows us on Twitter. To celebrate the 35th anniversary of Storms of Life, Randy and Mary Travis sat down with Taste of Country and spilled some secrets about songs like 1982, which was written as 1962 but changed to make appropriate for a 27-year-old. They also shared that while 10 songs made the album, 20 were cut in total. Put a pin in that thought for just a second. And even though he was viewed as a long-shot traditionalist and had been turned down by every record label in town, they knew he had something one year prior at the 1985 fanfare in Nashville. He said he and Martha Sharp were standing side stage. Randy went outside, hit his guitar three times, and went in to, uh, on the other hand. And he said, you'd think somebody had raised the American flag. 25,000 people stood up. I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up to listen to Storms of Life in 2021 is to hear a timeless album that reminds you how strong Randy was as a vocalist and not just a singer of low notes. The high melodies of deep tracks like No Place Like Home are special. There's a prominent clarinet in Messing With My Mind. I mean, no one does that today, but it totally works. And then there's this dark middle to the album, best represented by Digging Up Bones, and two Travis solo writes, Send My Body and Reasons I Cheat. The first of those songs is played up a bit and comes off like a young kid trying to do Johnny Cash proud, which Travis and Mary admit it kinda was. But Reasons I Cheat stings. Here's a sample lyric. A wife too demanding with no understanding of why I stay dead on my feet. A dimly lit tavern, a willing young woman are some of the reasons I cheat. All right, Randy, fess up. Why'd you write this? I'm not, I'm not no, I'm not going there. Come on, Mary, he gave you a thumbs up to do it. All right, all right. Understandably, those could be eggshells she'd be walking on. I mean, he was with another woman at the time, Liv, who he'd eventually marry. That relationship ended kind of poorly. But we did do some digging and found the real answer why Travis wrote, The dreams that I've buried, the load that I carry, are some of the reasons I cheat. But first, Randy, these are dark songs. I'm not trying to get all touchy-feely on you here for a second. But were you in a dark spot mentally at that time? No. <laughs> Randy and Mary would add that his influences were Johnny Cash, George Jones, and Lefty Frizzell. Thumbs up this video if those are three of yours as well. All, right, all three are pretty dark song makers, and that's what Travis was doing. In 1987, Travis told the Washington Post it started with the title, quote, I guess all those years working in clubs, you hear a lot of things, talk to a lot of people. I guess you could say that I've lived a lot in 27 years. I guess where I'm from, I grew up fast. The beauty of this song, and this is just me riffing a bit, is that it's a dark song produced rather brightly. I mean, it's almost like a thundercloud on a sunny day or a collision, but, but it somehow works. I think, that, I think that's a beautiful way to put it. It was a collision. It, it was, works. this is the message, um, and it's dark, but here's, here's the melody, and it's, it's kind of like it makes it okay. You know, it, it, there's an adjustment there. Early on in this interview, Randy and Mary said they cut 20 songs for the album, 10 made it, three more have been added for this re-release, which leaves seven songs. Where are these seven songs? You said 20 songs, 10 made it, three from the vault, at least seven. Right. Where are these other seven songs? We want to know if you find out. <laughs> <what's> <laughs> really? Are they just missing? Uh, we assume Warner has them. Yeah. Because okay. they were all laid down. I mean, they all went um, to studio. So we assume uh, since Warner had these three, surely they have the other seven. I'd love to know what they are. Do you know one recalls the titles or, or anything like that? I think Randy would. He just he can't. Right. The aphasia, he can't tell us. 
If you have a story about Randy Travis, it's time to share it right now in the comments section. And a quick story about the cover of Storms of Life before we get to Randy's opinion of the album now 35 years later. This photo was taken at the closed corner store in Flynn Lick, Tennessee, and several of those old timers family members eventually would reach out to the singer. They're all dead now, but in 2016, Randy and Mary revisited that building. That was one of the first trips we made when we came to Nashville after his stroke. Um, because he told me he probably wouldn't have any long-term memory. So I thought, well, I'm gonna drive him over here to wherever this was, I'd never been there. And we got close to it and he knew exactly where it was. And so when we made the bend and there it was, it was all just a pile of, I mean, it had fallen. Yeah. And it was just a pile of lumber stuff. By the way, if that building came up a few boards short after their visit, they don't know anything about that. Nope, 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 nobody nope. Some artists are perfectionists with their albums, unwilling to let go of mistakes years later. But Randy, when asked if he agrees that Storms of Life is indeed a perfect album, he had the perfect answer. Good. Good. I'm Billy Dukes with Taste of Country. Thumbs up this video if you agree with Randy, and then subscribe for more breaking news and profiles of country music legends. Thanks for watching.